morning, everybody. It's about 11 a.m. on Sunday, the 18th. I think it's the 18th. Yeah, the 18th. Um, I took my time getting up this morning and having coffee and all that, doing a few chores. Now I'm going to film a couple episodes for RT Trio, and then I'm going to upload some things to Patreon for patrons and supporters, and then... I need to catch up on daily drawings and I want to work on the black sweater. And I'm going to probably just stick to upstairs right now. It's my comfy, happy place. So even when it's messy like it is right now. I heard from Bob this morning and um, his mom is still with us, but it's just a matter of time. And uh, yeah, he will be coming home tonight, I think. But um, he did get to see her, so that's good. All right. I'm assuming his brother and he are visiting with their mom today and or going over any legal issues they need to take care of. So paperwork and stuff anyway. All right, let's get some stuff uh, working, going, and I'll be back. I got two artsy trio videos filmed just now. And now we're going to download some more Etsy stuff that used to be in my shop for sale, digitals, to patrons and supporters. So for those that don't know, around the first of the year, I closed the Etsy shop because it just wasn't making any money. Uh, probably partly my own fault for not doing my due dil diligence with advertising and things, but I just, it just wasn't working for me anymore. So turn off some extra lights. <laughs> um, so that's closed, but I'm going to share relevant. Um, there's probably some planner sets in there that the dates are off, but I'm gonna share as much as I can with my patrons and supporters. And once or twice or more a month until they're all loaded, I'm going to, um, post them over there for them to download. They also have their own private YouTube channel, by the way. Um, I'll also probably try to get vlog footage from my phone, this device here, <laughs> to the computer today, maybe even edit the vlog. So I guess we better get started. I'll okay, be vlog is edited and we'll get it loaded. And that way when Bob comes home, hopefully tonight, Tomorrow, whatever we end up doing, even if it's nothing and we stay home because he's not in the mood, I have the time to do, just devote to that because that usually I do the editing and loading on Mondays, but we're we're gonna just we're gonna get it done today. Um, and if I'm feeling up to it, I'm gonna edit and load the two RT Trio videos also. And in between, I'll crochet and feed myself and all the things. Yeah, I, th I think that sounds like a good plan. All right, and speaking of which, I'm gonna go make some lunch while that's rendering. Okay, I'll be back. so we are at the cell phone waiting area at the airport. Um, besides getting the videos filmed, edited, and uploaded, I also got a bunch of random chores done and I got one of the two sleeves on the sweater done. I still have to do the other sleeve and the neckline. Shouldn't be too many. I should be able to do that in a couple of days. Um, I also got caught up on all my draw daily drawings. I was behind, like a few days behind, so I got caught up with that. I'll get them all posted tonight. And just kept myself busy, you know, while I was waiting to hear back from Bob and waiting for his plane to get in and all that stuff. It's tough, but you know, it's part of life. But it's not fun. I'm glad I'm medicated, because it's not fun. <laughs> And by medicated, I mean on my um, regular daily anxiety meds, not my sedatives, because I can't drive with those. Anyway, I guess they've put 
Oh, anyway. You guys, it's Monday morning, February 19th. I don't know what time. 11.31 a.m. Uh, Mr. Bob is bringing up the garbage cans. He got home late last night. Um, we're on a <clears throat> hour by hour wait on his mom's situation. We were looking for paperwork earlier. I think we found it, but we're waiting for confirmation from his brother. Anyway, it's a long thing. We are going to go for a drive and we are going to go, we need to go to Costco, but we're going to pick one that's kind of away um, from our area and just go for a little drive and take the truck. Mr. Bob loves driving the truck. So we're going to... We're taking Taz. Take Taz. We're going to burn off some little bit of stress. He, we both, well, he mostly has going on right now. And um, we're going to go do that. And uh, by the way, Mr. Bob, on camera, I'm going to tell you um, that okay. our people who do know about what's going on um, have sent you their well wishes and virtual oh, hugs. Cool. Thank you. So anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. I think all right. That, that's it for the minute. Hopefully we found the needed paperwork, but we're not exactly sure because we put it away in a quote unquote safe place. It's a safe place. Yeah. So we'll find out from his brother later. I'll be okay, back. We're done at Costco. Nothing is perishable. And so we are going to, I think, go we'll have lunch out. So we're going to drive down to or towards Dundee, Oregon, and see if a particular restaurant down there is open and if it is we're gonna go have some lunch so i'll be back Good morning everybody i'm stopped at a red light and in traffic but it is tuesday the 20th it's babysitting day it's just before 9 a.m before babysitting we're taking my old 2011 subaru in to have some upgrades done to her finally <laughs> we've never done that before but she's a good old car and uh yeah we're gonna have some fun things done so hey guys, I'll be it's the end of the day and we're gonna be leaving in a few minutes to go get my car it's all done uh anyway and no word on bob's mom yet but the end is imminent anyway in the midst of all that i got my black sweater done do you like to would you like to see okay hold on so here's the black sweater I love the way it fits. It's not too big. The sleeves are a little bit long, but I wanted them that way. I didn't want it too tight. It is a granny pattern, so I'll, I'll need to wear an undershirt under it, but I love it. And I have these new tags. I tried to show you last time, but they have a leaf pattern on one side and my name on the other side. So I have this dark gray color, so I put it there. So anyway, now, when we get back, I'll be working on more granny squares because I've got another um, sweater I want to make out of the Red Heart granny square yarn, and I want to film some of it for you all. But I'm going to do most of the making of said squares up ahead of time. So, yeah. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. So we have to hold the phone when we're parked because no more phone holder thing. We have a new radio. Anyway. Um, out running errands this morning. It's Wednesday the 21st and I it was able to grab some Premier Bloom yarn, um, the Chunky at Walmart just now, $5.97 a skein, um, which I think is a pretty good price. They seem to be a lot more money at Joann's and stuff than they are at Walmart. So anyway, I'm going to hit a couple more places that we're going to go home and do some crocheting. I'll be back. Hey guys. Yes, we are out for a walk. Uh, as you know, I went out and ran some errands this morning. Then I came home. I'm supposed to be working on granny squares and granny rectangles for my cardigan that I need to make and film some of for YouTube. And well, I got it in my brain. Can we do a red heart all-in-one granny square yarn hexagon? Of course. Ooh. I mean... Why wouldn't you want to do that? Right? You can. It's, I think, easier than the square. There's plenty of yarn. So yes, I will be filming something. I'm sure somebody else has already figured it out, but I'll film something for you all how I do it. So anyway, look forward to that. And um, Bob's mom's not doing well and things are eminent, but I'm not gonna go into it any more than that. But Mr. Bob would sure love your hugs and well wishes if you can send them forward. And so with, yeah, so with the rest of the family. So it's going to be a tough couple of weeks, couple of months kind of thing. 
so anyway. All right, let's go get some steps in, shall we? Although it is starting to rain again. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Thursday, February 22nd, I think. Anyway, I'm out for a walk with Junior and I've had a phone call this morning with my friend Leslie McGrath. She's a teacher in Indiana and we had a phone call with one of her students about best friends and all of those things. And Bob has left for the office. His boss is in town from California. So there's some stuff going on there. Um, no news on his mom. So anyway, we just pray for her to have a peaceful passing. So there's that. Anyway, Junior and I are gonna go for a walk and I'll be Good back. Good morning, everybody. I'm out in the neighborhood running some errands. Stopped really quick at an estate sale. I'm always on the lookout for crochet things, knitting things, art things. Uh, they had a lot of china and furniture as estate sales often do. And that's the last thing I need, um, at least right now. So anyway, we're gonna go home. I picked up a book at the library and some cross stitch fabric because I want to, I really like doing mini cross stitches every now and then, especially if I'm traveling and stuff. I just can't find them. There's a company in the UK that I love. They're little mini cross stitch kits, but they're like nearly impossible to find over here. So I'm thinking about just making my own designs. So anyway, that's something I haven't done in five million years. But anyway, let's go home. Um, Mr. Bob had a doctor's appointment this morning. Everything went fine. And then he has a meeting at work and then he's going to come home. We're not doing family dinner night tonight because we're kind of waiting on pins and needles for the phone call about his mom. And it's just pretty stressful when you're waiting to hear that somebody's passed. So, yeah, we're not in the mood to... We love the kids dearly, but just it's best we just don't. So, we might go grocery shopping or something. Basically, just busy work. So, especially Mr. Bob. So, I'm doing what I can. If you wives out there who have had husbands who have had their parents pass, uh, have any tips or hints how to help him, what to do, let me know. Anyway, I'll be back. On that happy note, I'll be back. Hey guys, we are in the car, obviously, and we're in the parking lot of Walmart. I'm gonna head in and get try to get some more Premier Bloom yarn. Um, I don't really want to order it online. It's cheaper if you just go get it at the store. But nobody has it around me except Walmart. So anyway. Um, Bob's mom passed away last night. Late last night. So um, I've had, tr we both had trouble getting started this morning for a multitude of reasons. But Bob is off working out some feelings at the range. <laughs> um... I encouraged him not to be his wife and hide in a hole in the house, which is what I would normally do. And phone calls need to be made, but that can be done after lunch. And so I think that's what he's gonna do. He has to hear from his brother um, first anyway, and his brother is probably sleeping in because he was up last night. He lives, he's, his brother and mom are, live in California. So anyway, yeah, it's a lot. All right, let's go see if we can find some yarn. I'll be back. Okay, got it. Probably more than I needed, of course, but that's okay. We're gonna head home now and do some crocheting, a couple of chores, that sort of thing. While I wait for Bob to get home and we figure out what we're gonna do next. We need to go grocery shopping, but we probably ought not to do that if we're going to California. So I don't, I don't have any idea. I'll be back. It's cloudy out, but brighter than shit. Anyway, you gotta, we're- You gotta watch out, dude. You gotta get demonetized. Oh, well, I already, I already always check um, foul lang the foul language one. Um, anyway, we're out doing some grocery shopping. Arrangements have been or are being made for Bob's mom. Phone calls are being done. And we'll be going down in a couple of weeks. 
to take care of the rest of it. And no, I will not be vlogging it, but you all can send. Mr. Bob has your best wishes and condolences. Anyway, we're gonna go get some grocery shopping done. We didn't see the kids last night because of everything, sorry about the shaky camera, because of everything that was going on and we're not gonna see them tonight, but we are gonna go out tomorrow for the day and hang out with all the kids. The boys are gonna work on some electrical stuff at one of the kids' house. And I think all the girls are going out thrifting, so that I will vlog. Anyway, in between, I will be making a lot of crochet stuff. As it is, when I'm anxious, I found myself in the grocery store clicking the top of the pen. Click, 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 click. I know, it's a thing. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm coming up here because Bob's got the TV on downstairs. He's also dozing on the sofa. Uh, poor guy. Uh, I don't think either one of us got much sleep last night. Because uh, we knew his mom was going to pass last night. We were just waiting for the phone call. Anyway, let me get my stand for my phone. Hang on. Okay. Note to self, don't walk up the staircase with your reading glasses on. It's a great way to flip backwards and fall down the stairs. No, I didn't do that, but I almost did. Anyway, if you could see this way next to me, I've been making a shit ton, crap ton, of granny squares, hexagons, rectangles, half hexes. <laughs> Pretty sure the other two words I just said are going to probably get me uh, demonetized. Let's hope not. Let's hope I click the right buttons. Anyway, I've really enjoyed working with uh, ch Premier Chunky Weight Yarns. So I started out by just deciding to get some of the balls of it because I just wanted to try it. I wasn't interested in trying to work up the pattern it's supposed to be in. That's what my Red Heart Granny Square yarn is for. FYI, you can do hexagons with that. You can do rectangles with that. And you can do squares with that. I didn't do anything special to do any of these. I have written patterns for how to do these in my Patreon, if you want to know how to do these. It's not hard. Um, anyway, I really wanted to try the Premier Bloom, chunky, well, Premier Bloom yarn. I ended up getting the chunky one because they have it at my Walmart. It's not expensive. I really didn't want to place an order with Premier. And I have a problem. I really like working with it. <sighs> then I realized I had two balls of a Premier Serenity Tweed. Now, I don't remember where I got these two balls from. The only mystery bag I've ever gotten was from Lion Brand. So these didn't come from there. So I was either gifted these through Buy Nothing or I picked them up at my local um, resale shop. Um, but they were Premier Serenity Tweed. And I had only two balls. And I crushed, I did these today. <laughs> um, and then the bloom ones, I mean, they all come out a little different, but I sort of like that. And I do think I wanna make a sweater with some of these hexagons, maybe a turtleneck sweater. I don't usually wear those and I don't know how much wear I'm gonna get out of it because I tend to not be very cold, but I mean, so I did do some half hexagons and I mean, <laughs> you guys, I had to go out and buy more bloom today. <laughs> I have enough hexagons probably to do sweater and I'm heading towards also being able to do a blanket, but you know, I really want to get more of the serenity chunky yarn, not just the tweed colors, but maybe some of the solid colors. Nobody near me carries it. Uh, I'm going to have to probably order some at some point. If you all have any ideas about that, let me know. <laughs> um, I do like working with a chunky yarn. Now, I don't use the recommended needle size. I've been more using a six. Um, I think it calls for an eight or a nine millimeter hook. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head. Hey, I can find out for you. I'm Because being... you know darn well when I went out today to Walmart... Went to a different one because the one I had down here, I 
only had three balls and I bought them all. Uh, I bought a whole bunch. I bought more than one. Anyway, um, it requires a USL-11 or 8 millimeter crochet hook. I used a, a 6. I had no problem using a 6. Um, and it was really, really fun. I love, I like variegated yarns. I know a lot of crocheters and knitters don't. I really like variegated yarns. And I love the fact that when you crochet with this, and this is, what color is this? I don't know. Snapdragon. So these are all from Snapdragon. And because it's variegated in a way that you're supposed to be able to make this kind of a pattern in your knitting or crochet, mostly knitting, I think. Uh, I didn't do that. I didn't pay attention to the striping or the little spots that are supposed to resemble flowers. I just like started crocheting and each one is different. You can't, I don't think you could, you'd have to try really hard to make two that were the same. I was totally not interested in that. I've even been taking the scraps and like I had a little bit of this left over after the two balls. And then, so I started my next ball of Snapdragon. And I mean, I have some ends on the back, but it's not that bad. And so each one is different and I, I love that. So um, yeah, I'm hooked. <laughs> I'm hooked. <laughs> I am going to be assembling some sweaters with the Red Heart Granny Square yarn. And now, of course, probably this yarn. Um, I will be filming some of the assembly for YouTube. I have, as I said, written some patterns for Patreon, including my Red Heart Granny Square sweater that I just did, the black and green one. I'll put a picture here. Um, so... I'm gonna do a one in this color. I, I really like that sweater. I'm gonna do a sweater out of this. I, I was gonna maybe do a cardigan version of the same pattern. I may still talk about that in the video. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not, but yeah. Anyway, needlework is, well, art in general, just being in my art room. It's my way of being productive, being creative, and staying calm. So I do suffer from anxiety disorder for those that don't know. And uh, I am medicated, but this also helps. So anyway, and when you have things that happen, like what happened with Bob's mom last night, where she passed away, that's very stressful. Um, Needlework is much easier to take with me than a bunch of paints and a sketchbook, which I also do like to do, but this is easier to take around with me. So um, we will be going down, of course, in a few weeks because there's a bunch of estate stuff that's got to happen and her internment and all of that. And so I will, will be bringing a big bag of yarn for the road trip because, yeah. And I keep putting my six millimeter Clover Amour crochet hooks in a safe place. And I get really mad that I can't find them and it takes me a while to find them. And then I can't even find the six millimeter wooden hooks. I have five million hooks. Anyway, I got two more because you know, it's just, it's a thing. It's been a long week. It's been a long day. This, this has been, we knew this was happening months ago, but especially a week ago and that's why Bob went down there last weekend. <sighs> but yeah. Anyway. It's, you know what? We're spending tomorrow with the kids and the grandson because it's about fondly remembering those who came before, but also spending important moments with those that are here right now. And we're going to do that. And uh, yeah, I make bring my crochet bag with me when I go. So anyway. I hope you guys have had a great week, peaceful week. Um, oh, I did, was burning some candles earlier, and I have one. Just like I got my friend Leslie McGrath, it says, my last nerve. Oh, look, it's on fire. <laughs> it was so on fire, the glass jar cracked. <laughs> I'll put a picture here. 
Um, I may have to, it's cooled off now, but, and it didn't, it's fine. I mean, it's just candles do that sometimes, but it did, um, tarnish or burn the label a little bit, but you can still read it, which I think is hilarious. So I'm probably going to try to soak it tomorrow and get the label off. Cause how funny would that be to put on a journal page? I think that's hilarious. That was Bob's mom saying, burn, blow these out. What are you doing? <laughs> Anyway, so I hope you guys have a good week that you are okay with um, life and your family and that you do things that make you happy. Buy a ball of yarn. I mean, if you're going to get this yarn, I mean, yes, if you're going to place a big order, get it at Premier. But if you just want to try one, Walmart has these. It's only a dollar more than you can buy it on the Premier website. And you don't have to pay shipping. So... There's that if you have a Walmart near you, but nobody else seems to carry it in the store. I'd really love it if y'all carried some more Premier yarn. So there's that. Um, anyway, tangents again. Oh, before I do the final closing bit, I know I already kind of started, but I also did break down and I took that cotton sweater apart. I do want to try the pattern again, but I just, I wasn't happy with it. I was never going to wear it. I mean, this cotton yarn is not too bad, but it's just not all about it. So I'm going to find, I want to find a light weight spring season yarn, something that's not wool, that's not thick and chunky. I can make a cute little like tank knit, uh, crochet tank top and wear it. If you guys have any thoughts, um, let me know. Recommendations. Please leave it down in the comments. Um... And yeah, just go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Bring your crochet with you. Best thing I've done lately is pack my art bag. Um, I shouldn't say art bag. It's like a big purse. And my counselor recommended I have some minimalist style needlework supplies. Um, my minimalist um, drawing bag, which I have usually used for traveling since I made it. Um, and it's the best thing I ever did. When we go tomorrow to the kids, I'm just going to grab it. When we go for the drive down to California, um, I will bring it and I will just pack an extra bag with extra balls of yarn in it. And it, it best thing I ever did. Best, best, best thing. Um, so anyway, you need to find something like that. If you, if you suffer too with anxiety and depression and all that, you need to find a way of working those feelings out and expressing it. Um, me doing it's one of the best things I ever did in my life. Well, besides marry the husband. He's pretty cool, too. <laughs> anyway, if you want to send some well wishes to Bob, he is reading them. Um, and he does appreciate all of them from, from everybody. Um, and he says hugs right back. He loves you guys, too. And, and yeah. So, anyway, do something nice for yourself. Remember, because you deserve it. See you next week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.